In today's video, we will learn how to make a PCB at home. For those who love working on electronics projects, this video is going to be very useful. So without any delay, let's get started. To make a PCB, we will need a PCB layout. This layout will need to be printed on glossy or photo paper with a laser printer. Remember, regular paper will not work. The reason for using glossy or photo paper is that the ink or toner printed on it transfers very well onto the copper board. Next, cut out the top layer and bottom layer from the printed layout with scissors. Now, place either the top silk layer or the bottom layer onto the copper-clad board, mark it precisely, and then carefully cut the board. After that, place the bottom layer paper on the back side of the copper-clad board and carefully apply heat with an iron, allowing the design to transfer cleanly onto the board. Now, slowly remove the paper while it is still hot. If it cools down, the tracks may not transfer properly. Next, take some water in a non-metallic container and mix in the right amount of ferric chloride to create a solution. Special precaution, be sure to do this in an open area and wear gloves. Once the solution is ready, carefully place the PCB inside and keep agitating it gently. After a while, you'll see that the unnecessary copper on the PCB is dissolving and only the required tracks remain. At this stage, remove the PCB from the solution and rinse it thoroughly in a plastic container filled with clean water. Next, to clean the ink off the PCB tracks, use isopropyl alcohol to clean the PCB. After that, use a drill machine to make holes in the PCB for mounting the components. Next, place the top silk layer on the top side of the PCB and apply heat with an iron, exactly as you did with the bottom layer. You might notice that the prints on the board aren't very clear. Don't worry, there's a quick fix. Just by applying a little oil, the issue will be resolved. See? Now the text is perfectly sharp and easy to read. Our homemade PCB is now complete. Now it's time to place the components on it and build the circuit. I hope you all have easily understood how to make a PCB at home. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. And yes, if you like the video, don't forget to like and share. Thank you.